Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're having a look at the new DLC announced for obviously December for Planet Zoo so we're really excited about this one everyone was hoping birds, 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 birds but even though we don't have birds well we technically have one bird in this pack we have a very nice pack uh, animal pack, you can see the grass and animal pack with all sorts of favorites people have been really wanting for a while a very very interesting cast of characters so let's get stuck into it So there, there we are, it's coming on the 13th of December, so about 10 days from now from when this is recorded, but really, really awesome. So we can see here, our first animal is the nine-banded armadillo. Let's see if we can get a good image of it. There we are, there's the nine-banded armadillo, so really, really awesome. And then we've got here, this is one everyone's been asking for for a while, we've got the maned wolf. And I think it looks really, really interesting. It's a little bit, not quite as furry compared to the mod one, but I think this one still looks really, really nice. A really, really cool uh, animal there. Moving on to, and then we've got the emu, another bird. Here's another birds. Another Australian animal as well. This was one of the ones everyone was kind of missing from the uh, Australia pack. But see, they all make a return in a roundabout way, so don't worry too much. And then we've got another good image here of the Nine Banded Armadillo. Really, really nice texture as well. I like how they got that fur texture as well. And then got that uh, scale detail or like skin detail. That's really, really nice. And we can see here, we don't really get a too good image of them. But we've got the Blue Wildebeest as companion to the Black Wildebeest. Kind of its more famous cousin, which is really, really awesome to see. And the, you see a little tease of butterflies here, so we'll get into that. This is what makes this pack really, really interesting. So yeah, we move on to the next one. So let's have a read of this. So, hey old zookeepers, it's time to venture into the tall grass and find animals hiding in it. Introducing the Planet Zoo uh, Grasslands Animal Pack, which will be made, will be, which will be making its way uh, to you on the 30th December alongside free update 1.12. And I know I haven't covered update 1.12, but that has that um, new guided tours. It has a diorama, and I think it has a couple other things. So I won't really get into it at the moment, just because that's not the focus of the video. But really, really cool. So, what's hiding in the tall grass? You ask. A plethora of fascinating wildlife that call the steppes, plains, and prairies across the world home. So say hello to Great Image here, the nine-banded armadillo with its extraordinary armor, the maned wolf with its impressively long legs, so two South American animals, really awesome, uh, the curious emu, another Australian animal, with its recognizable gray plumage, the agile and elusive caracal, who do not love caracals, we love a big flopper, and fits perfectly in this pack, I do say so myself, um, the remarkable redneck wallaby, another Australian animal, and a couple more African Middle Eastern animals we've got with the scavenging striped hyena and the blue wildebeest. And they all come with new unique behaviors, including the nine banded armadillo sprino sniffing, the bouncing of floppy ears on the caracal, which is going to be so amazing. How can you not love caracals? And we're sure that both you and your guests will enjoy these new species. In addition, and this is a really cool addition, this is really exciting. You can add a stunning assortment of five colorful species of butterfly to populate your walkthrough exhibit. So now it's not just bats, you got butterflies. And this includes the Cloudless Spur, the European Peacock, the Melanus Blue Morpho, the Monarch, and the Old World Swallowtail. So very interesting assortment of butterflies. So you can now make your own butterfly house. So these species can also be kept together in the game's first ever interspecies compatible exhibit. So now that's really, really cool. 
So we can have that walkthrough and then mix in all these cool species of butterfly and create your own butterfly house. Personally, um, they have a local butterfly house next to the airport and I just love that place. A really beautiful assortment of uh, animals there, but they don't just have butterflies, they have crocodiles and some reptiles and things, which is really, really cool. Really big fan of how that's come out. Um, uh, seeing this as well, you'll also be able to test your management skills with the brand new career scenario set within the uh, picturesque grasslands of Argentina. So that's really cool. You'll be working alongside wealthy socialite Tiffany uh, Summers to help her learn the importance of animal care and animal sanctuaries and species conservation. You'll be relocating the diverse inhabitants of the sprawling mansion to a more suitable new home. Uh, since basically rich <laughs> rich girls got a lot of exotic animals and now we're giving them a slightly nicer home We'll be um, sure your zoo management magic can help make these uh, life much better for these animals And this new career scenario follows after the career scenario for the Twilight Pack And we're incredibly excited to continue this narrative Don't worry though, you won't have to play the previous career scenario to follow the story You can jump in completely fresh if you want So I think I've got to cover, since we've got two new career scenarios I think I've got to cover those two in the future Which will be quite fun to do uh, Maybe after, uh, in January when all these packs are done And I don't have to cover so many uh, mods and things like that <laughs> But um, yeah the Planet Zoo Grass and Animal Pack will be available for purchase, same price as most other packs, on the 13th of December, so that will be next Tuesday, I believe, or the Tuesday after that. Yeah, a couple of Tuesdays, about 10 days away, so Tuesday after that, I believe. Please remember that you only be able to join Planet Zoo if you have Planet Zoo Grasslands Animal Pack if you have the base game. Don't forget to follow social medias for the animal reveals. So we've only got a few animals revealed yet. We know the list, but we only have a few pictures of a few different animals there. But yeah, really, really awesome pack. Nice to get an animal pack again because it's been six months since we got an animal pack and heading off hard with the grasslands. I think these kind of grasslands, like bio packs, it'd be nice to have like alpine pack, rainforest, temperate forest pack, and having like uh, t eight or so animals would be the great way to go so far. We technically have 12 animals, so that's really, really awesome. So let's have a look at the uh, pictures on the uh, Steam page. So we can see another great picture of the main wolf. If you compare that to the mod, it's not quite as fluffy as the main wolf, but if you look at pictures of main wolf, there's some that are very fluffy and some that are quite, uh, especially since they have such a larger uh, range, this seems like a more tropical or like temperate um, uh, main wolf with that little bit skinnier coat, but some have uh, thicker coats. Uh, this is a nice good example of variation. It's very very nice. This looks like really really good even compared to the mod one This is like kind of uh, kind of the same level, but I think they're also quite different enough as well That makes them look really really nice We can also see here. We've got the um, Emu so with the little baby emus you can see there with the cute little colors. They're all very very cute uh, Hopefully there's a bit of male female variation looks like these are mostly males since they're with the babies because in ratites the males take care of the babies and the females are the bigger ones and kind of do their own thing. But yeah, really, really nice group of emus. Uh, an animal that was sorely missed in the Australian pack, but obviously made a great return here. Uh, we can see another picture here of a little, um, I think this is supposed to be the career map. Looks really, really pretty though. Um, we've got these really, really cute little armadillos here. Got a couple maned wolves, uh, a few of them actually. And um, I think there's supposed to be a uh, butterfly house that'll be very interesting to look at. And also we've got the wonderful emus over here, They're really, really cool. Another picture of the armadillo, I like how we got the fur and both that really nice detail um, on there, really, really awesome. And then we see another good look at the blue wildebeest, and this guy's come out rather well. Nice comparison to the black wildebeest, and kind of its more famous cousin, so if you want to make those big Serengeti maps, you've got that. But we can see here, there hasn't been any reveals of the caracal, the striped hyena, um, yet but uh, and also we haven't seen the butterflies yet but we'll get into those we can see 14th of december for me just because i'm a little bit in the future so about 10 days or so let's have a look at what it says here to discover spectacular new species with the grasslands pack features eight diverse animals that all reside in steppes prairies things like that including the main wolf the emu pretty so covered that um and five colorful species of butterfly uh incredible animals to delight your guests uh, so Unique characteristics, so armadillos um, will preen themselves and even raise up on the two legs to sniff the air. 
The caracals will ears flop and jiggle as they bounce around, which is really cute. Hyenas will hair raise when they're fighting or stressed, so that's pretty cool, interesting. And emus will peek, peck and play with the disco um, enrichment ball. Because if you've seen videos of emus running around and playing, those are very, very cute. They like stand up and they go and run around. Very, very cute. And juvenile uh, wallabies will frolic uh, with their parents by tugging um, on their head fur. So that's really, really cute. Another cute little animation for the wallabies. Um, so now we get a smaller variation of the kangaroo. So that's cool as. I'm a really big fan of that. And now we can build the butterfly exhibit. So brighten up your zoos with a beautiful assortment of butterflies. As I've mentioned the five species before. Educate visitors on the fascinating lives of the planet zoo's first flying insects as they flutter to and fro. Build a new walkthrough butterfly exhibit and house all five of them in the game's only multi-species. So you'll be able to hold all five species of butterfly in the same enclosure. And it'd be cool to have that expanded in the future. Especially if it's like a tropical pack. Because uh, tropical, there's lots of butterflies that live in tropical areas. A really, really awesome pack. I'm a big fan. And all the conservation as well because of issues with um, bugs and stuff. There's a lot of in uh, issues with like collapse of insects populations. And also especially like monarch butterflies. Um, they're technically, some populations are an endangered species. So really um, cool to talk about that as well. And we also mentioned the new um, uh, campaign scenario. So basically we're helping this rich socialite girl take care of her animals. And teach her about conservation. And help her get a permit so she can keep them le uh, legally. That says is awesome. Very, very awesome. So I think it'd be fun to have a look at that and sort that out. But yeah, uh, I'm actually a really big fan of this pack. Um, I really like that they added a bunch of new butterflies. So it isn't just like one type of butterfly. Because most um, butterfly houses have multiple species that you can look and talk about and see. Usually they have like dozens, but this five is still a really good amount. Um... And this has actually got a really good assortment of animals that people have both really wanted and a couple of frontierish picks. Because, like, Caracal is a really cool one. We don't really have that kind of size cat. It's basically just, like, another version of the Lynx, but, like, a old world version. So that's really, really cool. Like a um, desert version of the Lynx. We also got the main wolf. That's one everyone... The two that everyone kind of wanted was the main wolf and the emu, but we've also got the armadillo. Um... We've got the Wildebeest, the Striped Hyena, so a really nice assortment. The best thing about these packs is you can take like all the cool animals from different parts of the world and smash them together and make a really interesting pack theme. So I really hope they keep continuing with these uh, themes of like habitats and um, biomes. So grasslands is obviously there. We could have tropical, temperate, alpine. Uh, and then you could have like galadas and alpine one. That would be quite cool. Maybe different more monkeys. Yeah, so yeah, this I think this is a really great theme going forward. And um, we also would love to see birds, of course. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think this would be a great place to end the video. So I uh, really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Always forget the little bell icon to get notified of anything. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And bye-bye.